Hello there, and welcome to FIFO's Night. This is a brand new spooky 3D platformer that, as of today, is free on Steam. That's right, doesn't cost anything, you can go and download it right now, and I'm excited to try it out, so let's go! Well, we begin outside of the manor. This is very exciting. I love me a good 3D platformer, and yeah, we get to uh, get to experience one right here, right now. We are FIFO or FIFO. I think it's FIFO. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I'm liking this already. We can uh, we can jump. We can, oh, we got a little spin. So it's very much kind of like crash here. Very nice, very nice. You can look, you can jump, you can destroy things, good stuff, good stuff, and we can collect mints! I do like collecting mints. This is, I must say, very, very impressive. Like, anything about this will be extremely impressive on the basis that they have made a fully fledged 3D platformer for free. <laughs> like, that's, that's amazing. Um, but it will cost 10 mints to enter the gate, and we have done it. It's very nice. So yeah, solid tutorial so far. I guess we're heading into the manor. Um, from what I understand, this is uh, made by a group of college students, um, and and also their tutor. I, I think if I'm, I think the tutor is the uh, the head of the project. If I'm not mistaken, but it's very cool. Either way, just the fact that they have been generous enough to release it for free is amazing. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's going to be in like an early access thing and it will cost money later down the line, but yeah, just amazing. So yeah, very, very cool. And you know, it is the season, it's Halloween. Oh, we've got to collect candy corn as well, sweet. So is there like a, a bash button? Because it looks like you're supposed to stomp on that, uh, maybe later. Um, we don't seem to have anything like that just yet. Um, so I guess we're going to get new abilities. I wonder if... Uh, oh no, an enemy. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna munch you. We don't want it to munch you. I don't know uh, what our health is like. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Um, given that, you know, it's a spooky environment and... Uh, we seem to unlock powers later on. Um, I wonder if it's kind of Metroidvania-like to an extent. Um, thinking more like Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights Metroidvania. Well, I got hit. Um, I don't know how that affects me yet. I guess we'll find out over time. But yeah, this is neat. Can we get in the door where all the treasures lie? Apparently not. Wait, oh, can we... I bet if I really tried hard enough, I might be able to get over that gate, but I have a feeling that... Wait, I was not able to double jump before. Interesting. That is fascinating. Literally just by being here, it gave me that ability. That is interesting. Okay. I'm, no, I'm not going to try. It will. I, I'll soft like myself. I'm sure. That, but okay, I've never seen it like give you a double jump or lock you out of it until you arrive at like a tutorial point. Like especially one where it's just like just a, a button prompt. That's really interesting. Um, yeah, fair enough. I I can now double jump. Music's really calming as well. Uh, looking forward to seeing where it goes. And hey, we got 60 mints. That seems like a good amount, right? I think so. Anyway, a curious mansion where extraordinary beings live in. Ooh. Exciting. Candywood's balance lies in the power of the free candies. If any of them goes missing, consequences may be terrible. Not will, may. So this could be okay regardless, so we don't need to fret yet. I mean, we should probably fret, but we don't have to. Well, this is lovely and charming, isn't it? I'm looking forward to being able to break open these, these crates. So... We, we've been collecting different types of candy. We've been collecting the candy corn and we've been collecting the mints. So is that going to tie into the free candies or no? I guess we'll find out as time goes on. 
But I'm loving this so far. It's it's very charming. I love how it looks. It is visually gorgeous. And, I've, and there are sirens going on outside. Uh, that means spooky things are happening in the real world. Um, they are, that is really loud. That must be quite close. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's um, yeah, it's just super charming. Um, and it looks astonishing for you know, like just being free. <laughs> like, but we've already seen a couple of routes we can take so far, which is quite exciting. Ah, I wonder. Hello. This dog doesn't like the others. It can't help you. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm confused by the wording of that, but okay. It's a bit rude of the door not to let me in, but I'm guessing it's because the switch has the almighty power to let me inside of it. It's not the door's fault. It's the switch commanding him. That's the excuse we're gonna go with. I mean, there's floating skulls. I mean, it's entirely plausible. Yeah, we, I saw the place behind the desk that I could go, but I want to check this out first because I'm here, so that's really the only reason I'm going this way. I'm here now. I wanted to explore. Aha! Ah, that opens that door. Lovely. Well, I'm definitely going to go that way. I've got two choices. Potentially free with the uh, the button door. So, yeah, we're going to go this way first, I think. Oh, hello. Ooh, it looks like I need to find or destroy four skulls. Bosses, maybe? You're either going to go into the enemies nearby or, or bosses. I think it's bosses. Okay. Interesting. That's exciting. Solve the skull doors. Riddle! Hi. <laughs> Get scared by a skelly man. <laughs> or more just uh, the skull itself. But scared nevertheless. I think you have to find the combination that opens the door. But be careful, these skulls are not too peaceful. If you're wrong, they could attack you. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. I'm not going to remember that. Yellow, blue, green, red. That's, that's yellow. Um, this is the wrong high. Uh, the wrong way. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I love that. That was lucky. Whoever came up with the, the spider enemy. Genius. Absolutely genius. Right, so yellow, blue, green, red. I'm not gonna get this wrong. Yellow! Hello. A clue! Colours matter. Do you want to activate this colour? I do. Very good. We're friends now. Sure. I can be friends. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. I will keep repeating it until it is ingrained in my mind. Oh. Do we have enough for that room? I will come back for that, because I have made Mr. Wow, that was lucky. Um, there's red, okay, so that's good to know. Um, so, yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, blue, green, red. Okay, so I know where they are. Hello. Nope. No. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Here's the blue. So this is cool. Uh, where is the... Oh, there you are. Hi there. I don't want to be unpleasant, but obviously, you have to follow an order to solve the riddle. I want to activate this colour, please. Thank you. Congrats, I guess. Oh, well. Thank you. I, I, I guess. Green is the next one. Here's green. Hello! Hard! Well, this is just the beginning! Do you want to activate it? Yes, I do. Good, good, you've done well. Don't fret too much and enjoy the night. I will enjoy the night. I don't know how big this game is, but it's really great so far. I'm really digging it. Oh, hi. The only thing I would say, and there might be a thing where I can do to alter it, um, but the camera is really loose. Um, as you may have ow, noticed by how much I'm turning it. Um, and I'm not really intending to turn it as much as I have been. Um, but it's not a problem with the game at all. It's just a more of an observation than anything. 
Can I hit this to turn it on? I'll hope maybe you could. If you failed, you'll have to pay for it. Do you want to activate this car? I do! Oh, we got a smarty pants here! Yay! I'm a smarty pants. I did the thing. And thus the door will open. Whoa! Oh, it activates a thing. Okay. Well, there's a lever inside. I mean, like, obviously I knew it activated the door, but I, I meant I saw a thing that you could activate inside the door. Very important to distinguish the two, because one makes me look dumb. So, right. Oh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is rad. Loving the music. Oh, no. Oh, no. FIFO is dead. Okay, so... Oh, please tell me I don't have to solve it. Okay, good. I was gonna say, don't, don't make me solve it again. That would be a bit cruel. But, um... Okay, so I don't have enough mints to open that door. I have 60 and I need 70. I've got a lot more corn now than mints, which is interesting. So... There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. He says it's more short. Yeah! One more wave of enemies, probably. Oh, let's just get them into one go, shall we? Yeah, lovely stuff! Three cheers for everyone, for we bested the ghouls! It opens the door again. And what does that do? Ah, it opens that door, okay. Yeah, this does feel like a Metro venue at the moment, it's really cool! It really does feel like Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Like, it just has that vibe. And I know it I, it certainly helps that it is like a... It's, it's got the general... I forgot about you, that's cool. It's got the general, like, theme and feeling around it. But, yeah, it just it just really does, like, give you a sense of, of Scooby-Doo. Um, specifically how the game, like, presents itself. Which is great, because that game is a masterpiece. Now, I wish I could open that, but I don't... I'm going to press all the buttons again, just in case. Yeah, I don't seem to have anything that can do it. Not yet, at least. Maybe one day, but for right now, we... Ooh, for right now, we're, we're good. I like the uh, the little, like, blue... Um, reticle that's like, yeah, no, here's where you are. Oh, that's not even mints. Those are, like, sugar cubes. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we will be back for that. That was the mint door. Okay, yeah, there's loads to explore. We don't have enough of those either, but interesting nevertheless. Okay. So, we... Oh, yeah, look at this tricksy little spider. Um, I guess we want to go to that door right there. I think we've been everywhere outside of that, so let's go. This game's really cool. <laughs> I really like this. I hope everyone ends up trying it out and enjoys it. What a tragedy! Please find the candies and save my fellow books as quickly as you can. There's a power-up in the library that can help you. My page is clean. I see. Well, that will be good. Will it be a button by any chance? Get the potion. I will get the potion. But, uh, yeah, will it allow me to activate buttons? Because I've seen a couple now. Oh, hey. That was quick. Oh, that's neat. Can I climb these, though? Um, yes, it doesn't yield any results, but yes, I can. Nothing's stopping me. This is neat. What a, just what a wonderful little game this is. Like, it's so cool that we're getting more 3D platformers again. Oh, no, it sometimes hurts. Um, yes, I, I, oh, right, you can't actually see that. I got an achievement, uh, for killing, I think, uh, too many books. Um, I say too many, a certain amount of books. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to see 3D platformers making a big return, uh, both in indie and AAA. Uh, like, both of them have been gaining a lot more notoriety and, and, yeah, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful to see it again, as it should be. So we got so much candy corn right now. I wonder 
just and I know that I should probably hit the uh the switch, but see there's stuff over here that I wanna see first before I do that. Just in case it changes the library entirely. You never know. Now okay, we'll hit the switch now. What does it do? Yeah, that's what I thought it was gonna do. Ah. And does that switch it back? Probably. Let's find out. Ah! No, it's for that. Okay, that's good. Let's do that then. I do want to go down there at some point, but I also want to activate... Well, not activate, climb the uh, the top of this and see where it needs. Because it looks like there's going to be uh, a bunch more candy corn that I need. And also a bunch of enemies. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, jeez. Yeah, you can see they're bigger, so they're going to do more damage. Now, that switch, what's that going to do? Is that going to switch them around? No. Oh, no, it is not. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is doing a lot. Lo a lot is happening here. Wow, okay. I'm feeling mildly overwhelmed. There is so much choice here. But it's fantastic. Okay, so this is where we just opened, right? I think so. Now that looked like an exit. Oh, wait, no. No, this is where we came from. Oh, it opened, right, it opened the route back. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so yes, yes, I know where we are. Okay. So yes, that's right, I gotcha. Um, because all the, oh no, uh, all the things have lifted and descended, etc. So that helps us find our footing again. That's cool. I can get behind that. I wonder what kind of doors we're going to be opening with the candy corn, because we've got loads so far. It doesn't seem to show signs of slowing down either. Now I'm going to try and collect all of these, even though I'm very aware that there's obviously going to be a switch that switches these back up again, because that's the only way I can see me getting to certain areas. Now, oh, right. So the very beginning had a route to get that. I see, I missed that. I gotcha, I gotcha. Because I saw this bit, but I didn't realize it linked to the beginning. But I understand now. Okay, you have actually got a lot of very generous timing. Uh, so generous that I went way, way, way too early. <laughs> I've just been finishing Crash 4, so like... My... My timing for this kind of stuff is like, go now, go now, go now! <laughs> and that is uh, not the idea with this. Go a, go a little bit slower. Take take your time a smidge. Like you, you, can, you don't need to rush it that much. That's fair enough. Oh wow, this is so cool! And that flips that back, so that allows us to... Right, okay. That's good. So, yeah, that'll switch these back up, but I want to see what's down here. Okay, this is absolutely going to teach us about that. Yeah, it is, 100%. Okay, that's good. Oh, you know what? When I, uh, when I get this ability, it might be a good idea to go back outside, because there was a couple of things you could do with the... or seemingly do. Oh, gummies! Hey, hey. That's good. I think we're gonna need some of those at some point. Um, okay, so I, what do I wanna do? So I wanna flip the switch again, I think. Cause that's gonna change things up again. Now, I think we can do it just by climbing this. Yeah, it looks like it. Nope, I missed. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, if we go round, we can get up there, cool. And that is where, oh, wait, but that door's open now. I'm going through this door first. When did that open? Secret Chamber of Culture, I just got an achievement. Um, okay, this is, oh, wow, this is not only, this is a very secret chamber, there's loads of stuff here. Wow, 
Whoa, there's a lot of treats here. Whoa. That is a lot of gummy sweets. Okay. Okay, so that's how we get it. Oh, and it leads right there. That's cool. I want to go down here first. Oh. Oh, it's an enemy. I was going to say, how did I get hit? But I understand now. Is there actually something... Oh, you little sneaky. Um, is there actually something that tells me how much health I have? Because... I'm not seeing it. Unless it's like I, I look a little faded sometimes. It might just be that. Yeah, I think I'm like pure blue and or greenish when I'm fine and like a little bit faded when I'm not, I think. Um, I think is the, the key. But hey, we, uh, we found the secret and that definitely got us enough mints, uh, which is good. We've got loads of gummies, like loads and loads. So that's really handy. That's going to be fantastic for, uh, for the future. Because uh, we needed 70 gummies. And prior to this, we hadn't seen any. So um, this, this is good. Like, I wasn't expecting a room with that many in it, but I'm certainly not complaining. Oh. Oh, wait, no, we've been in there. So I was like, oh, there's still more we haven't seen. But yeah, no, that's not true. Um, so. I love how all of this connects. It is stunning design. Fantastic work by, by the dev team. And that activates that. Nice. Okay, so we're going to climb this, get our power up. Yeah, what a fantastic little puzzle room this has been. Like, this is just, this is just excellent. This whole room has been so intricately designed. Brilliant. Uh, I'm trying to work out where I Ow! Rude. Uh, yeah, where will I go from here? I guess this way. I wonder if I could have climbed this and got up here without doing all of it. Um, not that I want to break the sequence of events that the game has laid out for me. But I also kind of want to break the sequence of events that the game has laid out for me. Um, there's a part of me that wants that. But it is very cool. Um, let's see. Ah, that leads up here. But I quickly want to get these. Because it's a hidden Mickey. Um, yeah. Ah, hello. And that does... A thing. Oh, this is cool. Interesting that I say Hidden Mickey, because this is kind of reminding me of um, Mickey's World Adventure, specifically uh, the level called The, uh, Ma the Mad Doctor, because um, you create like potions and stuff in the boss fight. Uh, I know that they're very different games, but it's just reminding me of it. But I'm going to drink this, and aha! I'm guessing this allows me to uh, butt stomp in some capacity. That's awesome. Yeah! Oh, wow! Oh, you use your tongue! That's so cool! That's so cool! I love that! I love that so much! Wow! Oh, there's more gummies! Yeah, I definitely need to head outside. For sure. Wow, I love this! This game's so good. This game's so good. Where does this lead? Does this lead back- Oh, does this lead back to the- To the main room? Probably. Does, is this the, uh... Oh, this is the other side. Oh, okay. Right, so there's still so much to explore. Because... Yeah, like, there's, um... I'm sure these don't give me more corn, but I don't think so. Um... Does this give me corn, even though it's not got anything labelled on it? No. Um, yeah, because there's... There's that door over there. There's the door there that we didn't go into. There's like, there's a switch in the main room. There's also a couple of hidden secret doors. Like, there's loads to explore. It's so impressive. There's so much going on in this game. So I do want to go in there, but I don't want to go there just yet. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go outside first. I want to I wanna check outside. Um, but first I'm going to destroy this because I can. So I'm sure there's going to be some stuff that I can't do outside. I'm sure that's going to be the case. Um, but, hey, there's some stuff we can do and I want to check it out. Because I have forgotten, it's been like 20 minutes, so I've forgotten what I can and can't check out. So, yeah, this is exciting. What can and can't I open up? So there's some gummies in there, so it'd be good to try and get them. Now, can I? Yes, it was this. I could break this, right? 
Ah, nice. That's cool. Okay, I see what we're doing. This is fantastic. Oh, I got an achievement for getting so many... Uh, I think it says 50 on the candy corn image, but I have 300, so that must be inaccurate. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to get enough of the gummies to open that door, because I would like to open that door. Oh, we've got 90 minutes now, though. That's good. Um, so there's this checkpoint. Was there anything back here that I could do? I don't recall, but then again, it was at the very beginning and I didn't know what was available to me. So, we'll have a check. Doesn't look like it. But very cool. So, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, oh, no, no, okay. Sorry, that was a bit weird. Um, I saw a nine on that tree and I thought it might have meant something, but I, I think it was just the, like, the wrinkle on the tree more than anything else. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Now, can I do anything with that other gate that I saw? I don't think so. Not yet. Is there a door in there? Yeah, there is. There's a door up there. So I think that's something we're gonna get to later. Like, we're gonna come from that door, we're gonna find the secret, and it's gonna lead out here. I think. If I had to guess, that's what I think is going to happen. Um, so... That's cool, we'll get there later. It might be one of the, uh, the like, the 70 mint door or something. Um, hard to say though. But we shall find out. Um, it could be the door on the left side here. And there's so much choice, I don't know where to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this door. Oh, rude. I'm gonna see where it leads. I bet it might lead outside. Yes, it will. I think it does lead outside. It's either gonna lead directly outside, or it's gonna... Oh, maybe it doesn't. Ooh, it doesn't, actually. Ooh. Ooh, exciting. Defeat Chop. Oh, oh! This is exciting! Whoa! This is rad! Look at this! Oh boy! Hello! Oh, this music is exceptional. How does one defeat you? That's a good question. So cool! Oh, I want to hit the bow. Okay, gotcha. Whoa! Oh my god, the room's flooding as well. They're so cool! What an amazing boss! Oh, now we need to get there. Okay, uh, what's the quickest way to get there? Good question. This way, I think. No, don't. Oh dear, I'm very scared now. No, hit it. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is an incredible boss. Seriously, well, well done. Like, this is really creative. Like, it really does combine everything you've learned thus far. That is brilliant. What's crazy is you can technically miss this. Because there's so many routes you can take, you can go a different way. You could, I mean, eventually you could probably have to here, but... Maybe not, actually. Maybe you could just outright miss it. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to that side now. Cool. Can do. Oh, I've got to get out of here. What's the quickest way to get there? Oh, this is much harder. Okay, this is cool. This is so cool. Like, this is genuinely a genius boss fight.
Dare I actually say one of my favourites in any 3D platformer? You know what? Why not? Like, it really is this good. It's really creative. I guess. Woo! What an astonishing boss. One more phase. I didn't see where the final boss was, though. I'm sure the game's gonna show me. Oh, way up there. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Okay. Be harder to get to, for sure. Oh, this is so cool, though. I just, I, I'm in awe at this boss. It's fantastic. Oh no! Now I can't tell if there is a really specific timing on this. Um, if there is, I might be in trouble. I guess we're about to find out. getting very, very happy over there, so let's get to- oh, that burns, that's fair enough, I mean, it looked quite hot, so, there we go, outstanding, truly, truly outstanding, we are about to unlock the mega candy corn, Wow. Access to the graveyards. Oh, it's magic candy corn. So, this leads back outside then, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think it does lead to the room I mentioned before. It goes full circle. Yeah, it does. Cool. Very cool. Man, we're gonna get loads of gummies. Which is exactly what I want. Very exciting. I just need a couple gummies. Um, oh, it's so close. I need like seven more. It's not gonna give me seven, is it? Probably not. Oh, I still got that previous room to check out. Um, the the room before the boss. I didn't really properly look at it, so I should probably do that. Got loads of mints though. It's nearly a hundred now, which is nice. Fantastic. Oh, this opened something else as well. Oh, or maybe not. Or yes. Or it's so spawning more enemies for sure. Oh, that's world two. Oh my god, that's cool. Yeah, it really is giving me nine hundred fright vibes. Oh, so there's so much more to check out. Okay. So, so three worlds then, basically. Three worlds and final boss, maybe, something like that. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so let's check out these rooms first before we end off the first video. Because, oh, actually, I've, yeah, I've got, I've got to check out this room. I didn't look at it properly. So I wanted to check where it led. Um, turns out there's really not much in this room, so. Oh, what's this? Oh, a bunch of stuff spawned. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right, I didn't, I was like, what's gonna, what's happening? Can I try again? Oh, wow, if you don't do it in time, enemy spawn. I mean, that's fair, that's quite interesting. I didn't know what was happening, so that's my bad play. Uh, yeah, can I try again? Sure can. Okay, good. I don't know what happens when I get them all, but, oi! Evil. 
evil. Is that all done? Yeah! Ah! You get rewarded with some corn. Lovely stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I've got an achievement for taking out ten of the spiders. Which is pretty cool. Because, yeah. I, they are they are tricksy little enemies. I like them. So, yeah, that's all there appears to be in this room, which is fair enough. Because it's more leading you to the boss. So, there's still the room in there. And there's a couple rooms up here. Because there actually, was there anything up here that I could smash with my tongue? I don't remember. Um... There might have been. I will double check. Uh, but yeah, there's the... Um, there was a switch room. There was the two special rooms that I needed to send them out of prints and gummies. And that was it, I think, in terms of um, doors. So there's four doors I need to enter. Uh, which is cool. Lots to find. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh boy. Um... Okay, so we've been to the library, we don't need to go there anymore. I'm feeling like the switch is either going to lead to a, like a proper level, or it's just going to lead to like a, a goodie room. I cannot tell which. Um, but I need to find out, so... It is a goodie room! Filled with gummies! Yeah, we got enough, we got enough! Good stuff. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so we got enough mints, we got enough gummies, that's good. I'm glad I came here. Um, so we can go into both those rooms. I don't know what's going to be behind them. It's very exciting. I mean, they could hide more gummies and mints, but they might do a little more than that. Uh, actually, where was the... Yeah, the other... yeah I was going to say the other room's here, isn't it? Ooh! Oh! Sneaky. There's a bunch of mints to help you collect all the mint for all your minty needs. I mean, these mints and whatnot will probably carry over into the next world, so having as much as you can get here is probably a very good thing. Um, but yeah, I like that it doesn't use up the uh, the mints as well. That was nearly a terrible idea. Like it just it opens the door, but it doesn't waste any of your stuff. And yeah, and there's there's another. Oh, Jesus. Please don't kill me. Um, yeah, there's another secret room here for, uh, for the gummies. Um, I think we might exceed 100. We will! Oh, look at that. Feels good. So, yeah, look at that. We've got more mints and gummies, obviously, but doing well. Um, so that's very exciting. So we still got the bottom room to check out. And that is the only place we have not looked yet. Um... I left it last for no particular reason. I just just left it last. Um, so looking forward to finding out what's there. It's been taunting us this whole time. Oh, actually, oh whoa! It's a huge area. Oh, it's worth going. Yeah, there's loads of candy corn around here. I feel like I've got everything so far. I feel like I've been pretty thorough with collecting everything, which is pretty nice. Hard to say until I actually get everything, but it feels like I have. Oh, this is nice. Hello. What a mess! Someone has stolen the magic candles! Who could have done something like this? You have to get them back! I will try. So if I do that, that opens that door, right? It does. But that seems like a way back, which I don't want to do just yet. Although saying that, I could just go back the way I came, so maybe it's not a way back, per se. Um, it seems something's missing here. Okay. We'll find out what that is. Well, I'm glad I came here afterwards, because I wouldn't have been able to break a lot of this. So that's these are where the magic candles are placed, maybe. Maybe not, though. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, is this the final area of the game? Yes! I got the magic corn. Does it go on here? Do you want to place that? Yes! Okay! Right. These are where the bosses are placed. I gotcha. Okay, so this is the final room of the game. I see. Okay, and it's gonna open that. 
That's going to be the final boss. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, I think uh, once we get back outside, this is a good place to end the video because we have done quite a lot, I think. Uh, we have explored all of this uh, chapter as much as we can, I think. Uh, and I have absolutely loved it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around. I also have a Twitch, a Twitter, and a Patreon if you'd like to support me and the channel. And yeah, definitely check out this game. Download it. Go spread the word. Just tell everyone about this game. It's free to play. It's wonderful. There's no reason not to try it, assuming you have a computer that can run games like this. So, yeah, give it a go, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.